Hello everyone, it's Ethan from the Orlando Tours and we're back at Universal today, Thursday, July 8th. My camera is currently fogging up right now because it's very humid out. Now let me wipe it real quick. I literally have to keep wiping because it's fogging up like really quick. But we're here early, it's 8 o'clock right now. Early park admission for both parks is at 8 o'clock. And they both open at 9 for everyone else. But today we're going to be doing water rides. So we just got into Islands, it wasn't a long wait to get in at all, and Velasquez is only a 15 minute wait, but we're going to head around, see what's short, do that, and then we're going to hop on the water roads. So it's interesting to note today that early park admission is only allowing for the hotel guests. So if you have a preferred pass, or a power, or seasonal, you cannot use early park admission. The only pass right now that's allowing early park admission is the Premier Pass. So that's the top of the line pass, and usually they don't have the power or the preferred blocked out, but I guess since it's so busy, in the middle of the summer they are having us be blocked out for the time being. And we're only blocked out for early park admission, not the actual park admission, no. So we're waiting to get in because we do not have early park admission because we don't have these passes this morning. So they'll let us in in a few minutes. and Stormforce don't open till 9 and they let us in at 8 45 so you can still kind of get in early we're gonna head to spider-man right now doom also opens at 9 so we can't ride that either spider-man should be sort of short so let's see it We just got off of Spider-Man. One of the updates today is that Stormforce has reopened recently. So we're gonna go ride that today. And we're also gonna ride Hulk right now. It's about to open, it's nine o'clock now. So that's where we're headed. Some of my other updates I gotta talk about are the Olympic rings. They're gonna be having life-size Olympic rings that you can take photos with on July 16th and 17th, right outside the Universal Arches. And they also canceled the Universal Dining Plan for those that had it. You can still use it if you have bought it before they canceled it. They're just not selling them anymore. And also, the holidays are starting in November 13th this year. Holiday celebrations at Universal. And also, both the nighttime shows, the Superstar Parade, and the nighttime lights at the Wizarding World, the Hogwarts Castle, they have both reopened. Looks like we're the first ones on today. There we go. Oh yeah, we're going the right way too. Thank you. 
make sure all stuff is away, please. All stuff is away. Yes, it can. Stormfort's amazing ride like usual. Felt so good to ride it again. We're gonna head right back in. There is literally no way. So we're heading right back on. So we just got off again. Such a good ride. We're gonna head over to the water rides now. Let's hit them. We are in the tune store now to pick up our July pass holder pin. This is the new pass holder button for the month of July. It's the Simpsons donut and on the back side, there you go. Pick it up. Lasting here until July and so Popeyes always opens an hour after the normal park opens. So today it's opening at 10. But we're gonna head over to Jurassic Park and Dudley Do Rides, because those are open already. It looks like it's a walk on today, five minutes. So I just got soaked, I'm drenched from Dudley Do Rides. Well, it looks like it must be after 10 o'clock because Popeyes is now open. So we're going to head on Popeyes now. Maybe once, maybe twice. But I won't be filming in the queue because I want to put the camera away so it doesn't get wet. I want to have enough time to do that. But we're also going to do Jurassic Park soon as well. It's just 10 minutes for Popeyes. So that's basically a walk-on. So let's head in there. So I just got off of Popeyes. I rode it twice because there was no wait. So they let us stay on the boat for a second ride. I'm drenched. And I'm going to head over to Jurassic Park now, but I'm going to put the camera away because it takes a while to put it in the bag and whatnot. So, and the Jurassic Park queue is kind of short, so that's we're going to head there next though. So we just got off of Jurassic Park River Adventure. Um, you don't get wet in the back row, so definitely if you don't want to get wet and stay dry, go in row 5. And hopefully there's a lot of people in front of you because if there's more people in front of you, you won't get as wet. If there's an empty boat with just you in it, you will get wet. And if you stay on the edge of the boat, you will get a little bit wet. It just depends on the weight of the boat. I changed my shorts, so I don't have any swim trunks on anymore. I changed my shoes, so now I'm all ready to do Velocicos and some other rides. So we are by Velocicoaster now, and the bypass bridge is officially open. And it does have the cage that I was talking about a while back. The cage is there now. We will check it out later after we ride. It's starting to rain right now, so let's get in the queue. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause, and thank you for your cooperation. So we just got out of line, notice it says weather delay, we've been in line for a long time and it hasn't reopened yet. It went down for the weather, we were waiting in line and we thought it was going to reopen and the line started moving and then it went down again and it stopped raining a while ago but there must be lightning still in the area for it to be closed at the moment. So right now we are going to head on the Velocicoaster Bypass Bridge and check it out. So we're on the bypass bridge now, right under the stall. What sucks is we probably won't see any trains going by right now because the ride is down. And we have the new cage here as well. It's a great view to watch the coaster pass by. And when you're on the train, on the coaster, this cage is a nice element. It's really up close. 
It looks like there's a section over here blocked off for now for some reason. But now we're gonna head into the Lost Continent, which is the other entrance or exit of the bypass bridge. And we do have a video here. And we're on the bridge watching the coaster test. So check that out if you want to see that. We're over here right now and it looks like the mythical metal store that we have a video on is now closed. Or at least it got replaced by whatever's there. There's another clothing store. So it looks like we're gonna have to see if they relocated or if they're just somewhere, if they're not here anymore. And I have a feeling they're not in the park anymore. So Haggard has a new virtual line system that we can cover later. We're gonna come back to this park. We're gonna head to the other park first because all the outdoor rides are delayed for weather and Haggard's been closed all day. So we can't cover that right now, but we can show you how to use the new virtual line another time. So we're not gonna board the train way too long. We're gonna head out and walk to the other park. Be careful which way you So it's very busy out here. So you definitely try to come early and get your tickets in advance so you don't have to wait in this line taking out of your day, it's taking time away from other attractions you can be riding throughout your visit. So we have now entered Universal Studios. A lot of people outside the arches trying to get tickets. Definitely get your tickets in advance, like I already said. But now we are gonna head down Hollywood. And today, we are supposed to be getting a rumored Halloween Horror Nights announcement. So I'm gonna go into details about some of the latest rumors. So the latest rumors point to a haunting of Hill House House being announced for Horror Nights this year. And that's based off the Netflix series. And you, um, on Twitter, both Halloween Horror Nights, the one in Hollywood and Orlando, posted a teaser video of an audio clip and it sounded like Haunting a Hill House was being hinted at. And the countdown timer for Hollywood's candle emoji burned out. So we should be getting an announcement today at two. And the Jack merchandise in this store will be replaced by other merchandise. Now another Horror Nights rumor is that there's gonna be a podcast coming soon where the creators talk about the event and Hollywood over here was actually closed off earlier today so they could film in the podcast room right here. So, there will be a Horror Nights podcast very shortly. And while we wait for new merchandise to come out, let's see how much of the old merchandise is still left. I'm not even going to walk in there fully, but it looks like there's a bunch of Jack shirts still here. So we will come back later and see if there's new merchandise in there at, later on. So regarding the Hill House house announcement that's supposed to come out today around 2 o'clock, it is going to be a shared house between Orlando and Hollywood. And while we were in the Five and Dime store, one of the employees just did confirm that they have the Hill House shirts in the back and they will be out before 2 p.m. today. So it will be announced. This will be the first to cover it on YouTube. So, so today we are heading into the Kid Zone because there's a new addition to the DreamWorks destination, which is a Boss Baby meet and greet. We're going to see if he's out. And for the last water ride that we need to do today is the Fievel's Playland water slide. It's a hidden attraction in Universal Studios, the only water ride in this park. A lot of people don't know about it. It's a very fun ride. I highly recommend it, and it's right there. So Boss Baby apparently is not coming out today, but he usually has his meet and greets right over here. So we'll check again in the near future and see if we can meet with the Boss Baby. So I can't even show you guys the fourth water slide right now because we are down for weather. So I will have to come back and show you it another time. But that was the last slide we needed to do for our video today and we didn't get to do it. So kind of disappointing. So we're going to head this way for now just to see if we can see a little Horror Nights construction going on. We know from aerial photos and from team members that there have been some backstage photos recently but they are doing active construction on Horror Night House facades for the two tents back here. You can see a truck down there, which we did see last time. It's kind of very white, so it's hard to see it. But they're gonna come over here, see if we can see any more. There you go, you can see plywood back there. See, that? that's for Horror Nights. There is some plywood back there. That's active Horror Night construction with a truck there too. 
And right here you can see a dome structure being built with some more plywood. And this is right at the exit of the Simpsons attraction, so it is in active guest view. But now we are gonna go on Men in Black before it rains over here. So we are very close on maxing out on the green side. We got 950,000. It's about to pour. Now I'm gonna see if I can show you guys the tent house over here. There's an update on Twitter that it was having some active construction. So let's see if we can see. I don't think we see anything right now. We would actually have to be in the MIB queue and we did single riders. Now if you do want to learn how to max out, I do have a video guide, I'll post it up top. But in there, there's active construction for car nights. So single riders is open, but you have to wait outside here first. And it's a normally a 55 minute wait for the normal line. And it's gonna storm. So if we waited in there, we're gonna get poured on. We're gonna get soaked. So even though we did some water rides earlier today, we're gonna head back to the other park and see if we could ride some coasters before the storm hits. And while I'm in this area, I did want to cover that the Jurassic World Tribute Store is officially closing on August 9th. So get your wax molds in, get your Jurassic World merchandise before it closes. Does that mean Horror Nights merch is coming out next? And it's gonna come quick. This Transformers line looks pretty dead today. So, um, yeah, come, come early, because that's, that's like a three hour wait. So, Rocket looks down for the weather. Shrek and Minions are probably super packed. So right now we are in a mission to race the rain because it is coming full speed. It's starting to drizzle and we're going to try to head to islands and do something before it rains. Let's see what happens. So we've beat the rain for now. We are back in islands, but I hear some thundering and the rides are down again for weather. So hopefully they'll reopen and hopefully the storm will pass and we'll see what we can do in here. So as we're back in islands, it's kind of raining right now. But, this is the last attraction that is still closed currently, it's Poseidon's Fury. Even Storm Force is open, we're just waiting for this to reopen in the Lost Continent. So we've been waiting out the rain in the Lost Continent, but we're going to head to Velocicoaster because the rain is slowing down. So if it does stop, we might be able to have a short wait. We're going to see what happens. So we are now exiting the Velocicoaster, we were there for like 30 minutes, maybe 40, and it doesn't seem to be opening, so weather is still in the area we have to wait for lightning to clear five miles away but while we were in there Halloween Horror Nights did officially announce the haunting of Hill House is coming this year to the event so so we are now back in studios my camera's getting a little wet as you can see but we're gonna go check the store that's selling the jack shirts and see if they have the new haunting of Hill House shirts and that's the five and dime store by the Born Stuntacular so we're going to see if they have the brand new Haunting of Hill House shirts because they just announced it and they're supposed to release the shirts. We were there earlier today as you saw if you watched the full video and we're going to go check it out. We're just waiting. So they're changing up the merch right now. It's going to be Haunting of Hill House. <laughs> Here they are. Just put on the mannequin. <laughs> Everyone's following. <laughs> Um, he does. So we were here waiting for them to release the shirts and they finally did. The Haunting of Hill House, Black Light Reflective Apparel, Carol. We got the Horror Knights on the sleeve, and there's nothing on the back of the shirts. And they have them in all sizes as well. So, they have the old Jack shirts here as well. And here's the back side of it. And these are limited edition shirts, and they have a bunch on the racks right over here as well. So, come get them before they run out. Because they do have limited stock. 
So I just got the new Horror Nights Haunting of Hill House shirt following up the announcement. What an amazing shirt, looks black light reflective. Should be a pretty cool shirt in the Horror Night season. Come get it, it's $30, but come get it before they run out. And while we're on the topic of Horror Nights, we did cover some Horror Nights in this video. So definitely check out my other videos for Horror Nights because I've done a few other ones. And also stay tuned as we will be covering other house announcements and anything else Horror Nights related as they get revealed throughout the season. Some leaks and rumors, they will be there, so we will cover those as well. During Horror Nights, we will also be at the events, so stay tuned. So we had a pretty successful day today. We got to do most of the water rides. We didn't get to do the one in Kid Zone because of weather. We didn't get to meet the Boss Baby, but we did cover a lot of the park updates. And we also got to see what's new around the parks. We also got to ride, other than the water rides, we did Storm Force, which recently did reopen. And we failed to ride Velocicoaster today, but we did get on Men in Black, and we just saw it was around the park. I'm also going to be at the parks this Saturday, the 10th. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be filming there or not when I'm here, but if I don't film, follow my social media page so you can stay tuned because I will be covering it on there even if I don't film a video. And my social media channels are on Twitter, at Ethan Hershaft, and on Instagram, it's at Florida Theme Park Picks. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.